Ladies and gentlemen, today we will pray 3 a.m. prayer. And remember, this prayer is very powerful, so watch till the end. Dear Heavenly Father, in the quiet stillness of this early hour, we turn to you in prayer. As the psalmist proclaimed in Psalm 46, 10, Be still and know that I am God. We seek your presence, recognizing your sovereignty over our lives. Psalm 23 reminds us that you are our shepherd, guiding us through the darkness of the night. In this 3 a.m. moment, we find comfort in knowing that even in the midst of challenges, you are with us. We draw inspiration from Psalm 121, 8. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. As we navigate the uncertainties of this night, we trust in your protection and guidance. In Psalm 51, 10, we echo the plea of the psalmist, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. In the solitude of this hour, we ask for your cleansing and renewing touch, seeking a heart aligned with your will. Lord, we cast our anxieties upon you, as Psalm 55, 22 encourages us. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Grant us peace and assurance in your unfailing love. As the dawn approaches, may your word be a lamp to our feet, as Psalm 119, 105 declares, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Guide us through the challenges of the night, leading us into the promise of a new day. In the quiet hours of 3 a.m., we lift our voices to you, O Lord, drawing strength from Psalm 121. 1, 2. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. In our vulnerability, we acknowledge that our help and hope rest in you alone. Psalm 34, 17 reminds us, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. As we cry out to you in the stillness of this night, we trust in your deliverance and grace. Your promises sustain us. In Psalm 1914, we pray, May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Grant us the wisdom to speak words that honor you and meditate on thoughts that align with your purpose. We find solace in Psalm 27. 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the darkness of the night, we cling to you as our guiding light and fortress. Lord, in Psalm 139, 23, 24, we invite you to search our hearts, saying, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. May your refining presence shape us into vessels of your grace. As we continue in prayer, we rest in the assurance of Psalm 145, 18. The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. In this early hour, we call upon you, trusting in your nearness and responding in truth. In Jesus' precious name, we pray, Amen. In the hushed moments of 3 a.m., we find strength in the promise of Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. In the silence of this night, we bring before you our brokenness and seek the healing that only you can provide. As we reflect on Psalm 139, 14, 
I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. We express gratitude for the intricacies of our being, knowing that your love encompasses every part of our existence. In Psalm 103, 2, 5, we are reminded of your gracious benefits. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. We thank you for your forgiveness, healing, redemption, and abundant love. Psalm 19. One inspires us to marvel at the beauty of your creation. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. In the stillness of the night, we join creation in declaring your glory and acknowledging your majesty. We find assurance in Psalm 91. 4. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. In the vulnerabilities of this late hour, we seek refuge under your protective wings, trusting in your unwavering faithfulness. Lord, as we continue this prayer, may the words of Psalm 1914 be on our lips. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. May our thoughts and words align with your will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the quiet embrace of 3 a.m., we turn to Psalm 121. 5. 8 for reassurance. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. We rest in the comforting truth that your vigilant care surrounds us. As we ponder Psalm 51, 17, my sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. We humbly present our contrite hearts before you acknowledging our need for your mercy and forgiveness. Psalm 34, 15 guides our intercession. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. In this moment, we lift our voices, knowing that you hear and respond to the cries of your children. Lord, we seek wisdom through Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Illuminate our paths with the wisdom of your word, guiding us through the uncertainties of the night into the dawn of a new day. In Psalm 46, 1, we find strength for our weary souls. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. We cling to you as our refuge, trusting in your unwavering strength to sustain us. As we approach the conclusion of this prayer, may the words of Psalm 1914 resonate in our hearts. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. In unity, we declare our desire to honor and please you with our thoughts and words. In Jesus' name, we offer this prayer. Amen. In the sacred stillness of 3 a.m., we find solace in Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. We trust in your abiding presence, knowing that you guide and protect us through life's shadows. Psalm 19, 7, 8 inspires our reflections. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. 
The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. In the quietude of this hour, we seek the refreshing wisdom and joy found in your word. Psalm 25, 4, 5 becomes our plea. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. We surrender ourselves to your guidance, yearning to walk in your truth with unwavering hope. Drawing strength from Psalm 27, 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. We acknowledge the virtue of patience and place our trust in your perfect timing. In the midst of uncertainties, we wait with hope and anticipation. Psalm 34. 8 becomes our invitation. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. As we taste the sweetness of your goodness, we find refuge in the shelter of your love. In the sacred stillness of 3 a.m., we find solace in Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. We trust in your abiding presence, knowing that you guide and protect us through life's shadows. Psalm 19, 7, 8 inspires our reflections. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. In the quietude of this hour, we seek the refreshing wisdom and joy found in your word. Your Psalm 25, 4, 5 becomes our plea. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. We surrender ourselves to your guidance, yearning to walk in your truth with unwavering hope. Drawing strength from Psalm 27, 14, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. We acknowledge the virtue of patience and place our trust in your perfect timing. In the midst of uncertainties, we wait with hope and anticipation. Psalm 34, 8 becomes our invitation. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. As we taste the sweetness of your goodness, we find refuge in the shelter of your love. We echo the sentiments of Psalm 1914. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. With gratitude and reverence, we conclude this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the tender moments of 3 a.m., we turn to Psalm 46. 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. In the hush of this early hour, we embrace the stillness, recognizing your sovereignty and exalting you above all. Psalm 143, 8 becomes our prayer. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. As the dawn approaches, we seek the assurance of your unfailing love and guidance for the path ahead. Inspired by Psalm 139, 23, 24, we invite your examination. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. 
We open our hearts to your refining presence, desiring alignment with your eternal ways. Psalm 51, 15 becomes our declaration. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. In the silence of this hour, we offer our praises to you, acknowledging your greatness and magnifying your name. As we conclude this prayer, we anchor ourselves in Psalm 121. 8. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. With gratitude for your watchful care, we rest in the assurance that your presence accompanies us throughout the night and into the new day. In Jesus' name, we offer this prayer. Amen. In the serene embrace of 3 a.m., we turn our hearts to Psalm 34, 15. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. In this tranquil moment, we lift our voices to you, knowing that you attentively hear the whispers of our souls. Psalm 1, 21. 1. Two guides our reflections. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. As we gaze upon the stillness of the night, we acknowledge you as our steadfast source of strength and guidance. Psalm 27, 4 becomes our heartfelt desire. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. In the quietness of this hour, we yearn to dwell in your presence, captivated by the beauty of your holiness. Psalm 91, 4 wraps us in its comforting imagery. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. As we rest under the shelter of your wings, we find solace in the assurance of your unwavering faithfulness. We echo the sentiments of Psalm 1914. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. With hearts full of gratitude, we offer this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the sacred stillness of 3 a.m., our spirits resonate with Psalm 139, 23, 24. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. We open ourselves to your scrutiny, seeking purification and guidance on the path of everlasting truth. Psalm 121, 5, 7 envelopes us in its assurance. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. Under the shelter of your watchful gaze, we find comfort and protection. Psalm 34, 17, 18 resonates in our souls. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. In our vulnerability, we cry out to you, trusting in your deliverance and the closeness that heals our brokenness. Inspired by Psalm 37, 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. We turn our affections toward you, recognizing that true fulfillment is found in delighting in your presence. As we approach the conclusion of this prayer, we anchor ourselves in Psalm 23, 6. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. With hearts filled with gratitude, 
we rest in the assurance of your enduring goodness and love. In Jesus' name, we offer this prayer. Amen. In the hallowed stillness of 3 a.m., we find strength in Psalm 46. 1, 3. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. In the midst of life's upheavals, we take refuge in your unshakable strength and abiding presence. Psalm 1914 becomes our plea. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. As we offer our words and thoughts to you, may they align with your perfect will, bringing honor and glory to your name guided by Psalm 25. 4, 5, we declare, Show me your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior and my hope is in you all day long. In the quietude of this hour, we seek your divine guidance, acknowledging you as the source of our hope. Psalm 121, Eight envelops us with its promise. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. As we navigate the uncertainties of the night, we trust in your vigilant watchfulness, knowing that your loving care accompanies us into the dawn of a new day. We echo the sentiments of Psalm 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good, Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. With hearts filled with gratitude, we taste the goodness of your presence, finding blessed refuge in the shelter of your love. In Jesus' name, we offer this prayer. Amen. In the sacred stillness of 3 a.m., we draw strength from Psalm 34. 1, 3. I will extol the Lord at all times, his praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. In this quiet hour, we lift our voices in unison, exalting your name and finding joy in the celebration of your goodness. Psalm 27, one becomes our declaration. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? As the shadows of the night surround us, we find courage in the brilliance of your light and the security of your stronghold. Inspired by Psalm 46. 10. Be still and know that I am God. We quiet our hearts and minds, recognizing your divine presence and acknowledging your sovereignty over our lives. In the stillness, we find intimacy with you. Psalm 19, 7, 8 guides our reflections. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. In the tranquility of this moment, we seek the soul-refreshing wisdom found in your perfect law. As we approach the conclusion of this prayer, we anchor ourselves in Psalm 23. 6. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. With hearts filled with gratitude, we rest in the assurance of your enduring goodness and love. In Jesus' name, we offer this prayer. Amen. In the serene silence of 3 a.m., we turn to Psalm 25. 5. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. 
As we tread through the stillness of the night, we entrust ourselves to your guidance, seeking the truth that illuminates our path. Psalm 121 1. 2 becomes our declaration. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. In this quiet moment, our gaze is fixed on you recognizing that our ultimate help rests in your hands, the creator of all things. Inspired by Psalm 51, 10, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. We open our hearts to your transformative work. In the stillness of this hour, may our spirits be renewed and our hearts made pure by your gracious touch. Psalm 34, 5 invites us to look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. As we turn our faces toward you, may the radiance of your presence dispel any shadows of shame, filling us with the joy that comes from seeking your face. In the closing moments of this prayer, we echo the words of Psalm 19:14. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. With gratitude and reverence, we conclude this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please leave your prayer request in comments so we can pray for him. And don't forget to subscribe this channel and share video to your friends and family.